it's Strasberg and Actors Studio. And there's a the Mickey Rourke quote that I read. Yeah, is uh, Mickey's a buddy. That, what is it? Mickey's. Oh, he, he is said, it a jo- was he? It was a joke <laughs> because he, he he and Lee used to knock horn heads together. But uh, uh, yeah, so that Mickey said that. Said that the only actors Lou Strasberg liked like ever liked was me, me and Al Pacino. You and Al Pacino. Well, that was, that's not true. Is <laughs> he saying? He, but he did. He didn't like me. Because everybody liked Mickey. Mickey yeah. was just beyond belief. Still is. Still is. Um, so, back um, yeah, to get back to the Deuce. Did you ever, do? You, did you spend any time in the Times Square area? And Times going, Square, or you mean Sunset Boulevard? No, no, in here in New York, in Times Square, in the Times Square area, and seeing movies or... I have to tell you something. I just did a movie with Jeremy Iacona, who, who wrote The Bone Collector, which I was in. And um, it was a very unusual movie. Now I'm an older guy, I'm beat up, and this is a movie about an old beat-up actor, which is apropos, losing his mind, which, again, works on a lot of levels, so... We shot this thing very freeform and wild, and I and and to talk about Times Square just in June, uh, a film crew following me around as I'm in, in in a you know delirious improvising with everybody. I've never shot just on the completely on the uncontrolled event before. But as far as Forty Second Street, I watched the changes. I was disappointed when it was cleaned up. Right. That was it was it was it a place that you went to to see movies and no no. <laughs> <laughs> no I stayed on the Upper West Side where it was safe. But this actor studio being right around the well, corner. Well, forty fourth, yeah. yeah. But the actor studio, you didn't have to go anywhere after that. You just that was Forty Second Street and this yeah. incantation. A lot of crazy things went on there too. Great things actually. Yeah. Great things. Um, 